Hey guys, Arthur here off the Dome Media Group, and I have a question for you. Are drone propellers dangerous? We'll answer that question when we come back. Okay guys, welcome back. This question is asked every day online and in the real world. It's a serious topic, so let's take a look at a couple serious answers to the question. The first answer, the tradition of sneaking the kiss under the mistletoe during the holidays was taken to a whole new level. When the popular restaurant chain TGI Fridays launched this version called the mobile mistletoe drone equipped with a kiss cam so you could see the kiss happen. Apparently one of the drones, which might I add, didn't have prop guards, flew out of control and hit a lady in the face. The second unfortunate incident is when an 18-month-old boy lost an eye after being hit by a drone flown by a family friend. This one is really tough to look at. The boy's eye was literally sliced in half by the propeller after the operator lost control. So I think we know the answer to the question, are drone propellers dangerous? If you said yes they are, but they don't have to be, as long as they're treated with care and safety, congrats. Two simple ways that both these incidents could have been avoided. One, not flying over people, and two, flying with prop guards, especially if you're flying inside or around children. Here's some additional steps that you can take to avoid drone propeller accidents. Always follow your drone manufacturer's instructions on how to arm and disarm your drone. Typically, this means always arming or turning on your controller before you power up your drone. In reverse, it also means powering down your controller before you power down your drone. This allows your drone to immediately establish communication with your controller when you power it up. This also helps prevent possible outside interference from another controller or signal within the area. Never lean over to pick up or adjust your drone with your controller armed and around your neck. I've been guilty of this one a few times. What can happen is, as you get closer to the ground while you're leaning over, the sticks can get caught in your clothing and accidentally push the throttle up while you're reaching for your drone. Not a good look. Now we all know this next one is cool, but try not to catch your landing drone in your hand unless you have to, unless it's programmed to land in your palm. Even then, keep your fingers extended out and not pointed up towards the propellers. A malfunction or a gust of wind can send the propellers into your hand or your fingers. Lastly, no matter how hard we try, accidents happen and we need to be prepared as best as we can. Always keep a first aid kit with you. If something happens, call emergency medical services first and then tend to the injured person if the situation allows for it. So, the lesson for the day is drone propellers are in fact dangerous. But they don't have to be if what? Treated with care and safety. Remember, if you want to legally earn some cash while flying your drone and doing what you love while learning all there is to know about the FAA Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate, do what I did. Check out remotepilot101.com. Link is in the description. As always, like, comment, share, follow, and more importantly, fly safe. Peace.